Hello and welcome to another Gemini Rogues video and today we have a continuation of our top 5 tier 5 medium tanks and today we are presenting which which tank is it? M7 So M7 and what number is it? 3 Number 3 Well done colours 05 you got it right um, So this is an M7 tell us a bit about it M7 it existed straight away so it's yeah, real. They started, yeah they started as a light tank in it's, 1941 okay. that's what it was designed as and it gradually added armor and they added armaments to it and it became a medium what they gave it a gun <laughs> well bigger one <laughs> uh, it ended up classified as medium they actually okay. made production it started production in 1942 and seven were made <laughs> so seven. it wasn't a long production line it was deemed that the m4 was better so they just kind of sherman yeah the m4, m4 sherman, sherman was a better tank it did everything better wow. so they decided we don't need this M7. Expectations weren't very high. Though. Yeah, so we're kind of stuck with M4. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you what's best gun to use on this tank, and I've not bothered showing you others because there's only really one that's worth having. What and gun? That's the six pound. Six pound. It only does 75 damage, but it's worth having because oh, it's okay. got 20 rounds per minute fire rate. That's very good. Which is pretty impressive. So is this tank <laughs> all about the gun then? No. No. No, that's the beauty of it. Uh, okay. We'll start again. We'll start straight away. Sand River. Sand straight River. away, you can see how much further ahead of the team we are already. Mobility oh, yeah, is a massive on, factor in this tank. Plus, it's camo rating, it's light tank heritage coming through here. Yeah. 360 meter view range, the highest out of all tier 5 mediums. Makes this one play completely different to the others. So, you can play this as a medium and as a scout. Yep. Oh, Which good. makes it good for tier 7 matches because it's still got a purpose. And people say, oh, the gun's not very good. Six pounds, 105 mil penetration, 75 damage. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from, but 170 APCR penetration. That's very makes good. Makes this even standalone in its tier seven match. You can still re it. It's going to cost you a lot to use that. Well, tier in a seven. fashion, yeah. But you, to get the job done, you do whatever you need to do, don't you? Um, it's, yeah, true. It's deceptively big, <laughs> this <laughs> tank. It looks really tiny, but when you kind of look at it in another way, it ain't that big. Not that big. As you can see here, uh, still enough to go through that. Oh, it didn't take much off his health. No, bar, only 75, it? literally. Like Straight that average roll. Okay. So, so, tell us why it's number three then. Give us why it's number three in this top five. And it's a give little us... bugger. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. It's just fun to play. I think this is the most fun you can have in tier five mediums. You're not this showing time. us much fun at the moment. Well, we're doing his best. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is what makes this tank a little bit tricky to play. This is why it's not up there at number one. It can be a pain off, but you've got to know how to use it. You can't go balls in, in it. It just can't. This is what it's perfect for, finishing off every tank. So if you get round in every tank, you can circle it, but yeah. you've got to get it on its own. Yeah, it's got no armor. I'm not going to go through its armor profile because it ain't got any. I think 38 is its maximum armor up front of it. So wow. there's nothing. But it's kind of round, so Ooh. dodging shots. It's kind of round, so it does bounce a few more than normal. Yeah. But okay. It's all about its mobility, its stealthness, and its view range. Oh. It's a full on flanking scout medium. You picked us a better video for that because you haven't really <laughs> moved much, have you? It's hard to move. We've kind of got a similar position. We've been surrounded by everything and we've still not lost any hit points, I might add. And they got a kill. Oh, yeah, go on then. Sorry, go on. Sorry, boss. So, we've got a bit of meat shield here. You can see, gun does struggle of a distance. Mm. Okay. Can't decide if we've got a shot for that. You Thank did you for that. So, it doesn't, has it got much gun depression? Mm, yeah. Okay. Can you ridge line it? You can, at about 8 degrees, so it's not as high as we've seen from the Skoda, but it's not inadequate at all. I see you've got binos on it, does that make a big difference? Just because I'm using it as a scout mostly. You're getting a tier 7 match, you can use this as a scout. It's got fantastic yeah. camo value as long as you stay still. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, obviously. Not like a scout tank that keeps its camo uh, in, no matter yeah, what. Yeah. If it's moving, get you. this will lose it. Yeah. <coughs> I'm poorly today. Oh, so you. Here's you, Carlos. I've got And this is it. We're finding every tank. He's on his own. It's tier 6, M6. Go on, this show is what I'm saying. Chuck a whack. Use Ooh. that fire rate. Switch to his APCR. And now he's going to go around him. And this is what it does. But you've got to make sure he's on his own. Ah, oh, there's a rock. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, may I ask if you can play this like a Cromwell? In a fashion, yeah. You, you can. Think, yeah. You can play this like a Cromwell. 
actually. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's fast enough and manoeuvrable enough to do it, and yeah. he can circle oh, tanks with it as well. It's just got no armor, but Cromwell ain't got no armor. Yeah, and you can see here now, it's perfect for finishing things off. You mean Absolutely perfect for finishing stuff off. Oh, Look at the aim times, a bit of a problem. The dispersion isn't great. 0.38, which is the same as the Skoda. That is quite slow. You can see it does balloon out a lot when you're moving. Yeah, You've cool. got to know your maps to get the best out of this tank. You're not going to, a noob's not going to really thrive in this. Unless he's really good. <laughs> then eat one. Can we say that this is player dependent then? In a way, yeah. You've got to know your maps. You've got to know where's best to stick it so it's not spotted, where it can reap its best abilities if you don't you, want to You've mentioned the maps a couple of times. You're saying this is map dependent Yeah, as well. town maps are not its strongest point. It likes okay. to get around stuff with armour and circle it. Yeah. Pretty much. And yeah. you can see here, it chips away. You're not going to be ripping through the something. Fire rate, it's not bad 20 actually. rounds a minute. I mean, the DPM of this thing's quite high. Spun yeah. stupid premium round there like an idiot. Like I said. <laughs> oh, was that was T67. Yeah, and we'll just finish off there. That's what you could do. That's very nice. With Especially a fire rate, 1,500 DPM. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. It's higher than we've seen from the lights of the Skoda and the Panzer. Yeah. With certain guns. Oh, it did cost you some silver, man. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what the drawback of the tank. The 105mm penetration on a standard shell is not brilliant. It's not the best. Okay, so obviously it's good for scouting. It's not a perfect medium. Um, I mean, this me next replay we've got Corelli. Yeah, go on. Show up straight yeah. to go again. We're prominent. We're pushing. We're scouting. It's kind of more playing like a light tank than it is a medium. You can flank in it, but yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, you can shoot you can see stuff. The <laughs> it's two point three seconds, which is again, like we said before, all the mediums at tier five are so evenly matched. They've all got two point three seconds aim time. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> which can, is no different to Panzer or Skoda. You can reduce that though, can't you? If you're not um, got a lens on. No, like you can see here we're pretty much equipped like a, a scout. We've got a camo net and we've got binos. Yeah. So why is it number three? Why have you put it at number three? We'll that, see, this just, doesn't look like a number three tank to me. That Panzer 4H looks better. You can just rip through things with this. If you get in situations, you can have so much fun in it. You can rampage around map and you can shoot things without them seeing you. And you can take tier six tanks on it, you can take tier seven tanks on it, if you know what you're doing. So if you put this at number three for the camo rating and the fire rate. Yeah. And it's manoeuvrability. Okay. It's gun's not the best. It's not overly accurate and it struggles over distance with that problem as well. Yeah. It's not got eye penetration, but if you can get it flanked and you can get to the side of something and get shots yeah. in, it can do a lot of damage quick. But so it's its manoeuvrability that's the best thing about it. That's the best The best play to play is to keep moving. But you've got to play as a scout. You know? You've got to play as a scout as such. I mean, we're pinned okay. down here. We're not going to be moving that much. We've, we've full on pushed forward here. This video is more about showing what the gun can do. Oh, okay. Um, penetration it's not wise. not doing anything, man. That's a bloody great Cromwell <laughs> sat in front of his own mince through and we've only got 448 points, which is a, a minus of the tank again, not that many. Yeah, so yeah. We're, we're trying to play it by ear. I'm hoping to try and get to this LI. I'm hoping he's going to be sided on when we get to him. Okay. I'm thinking about it. He's not got a lot of health left. That's kind of what this tank does. He finds tanks on low health and just finishes them off. His tractors. Ooh. Then his face on. <laughs> Think about his lower plate, so we go for his cheek. Oh, you can actually pen Yeah, you can pen an OI if you find his weak spots. Okay. Straight in his little turret. Bang, gone. Who wants the other shot like there? 10 seconds. Yeah, you're firing away, aren't you? Another bounce shot off of Cromwell. So he's supposed to have no armour, but it's remarkable how many times shots just glance off you because you can yeah. really shape it. Yeah, it's quite it's rounded. <coughs> oh, really God, chesty God. cough here today, I'm struggling. Are you dying? Yeah. Can't catch them. Okay. It's fast, but we can't catch that guy. <laughs> what are you chasing an artillery? Yeah. Nice one. You see, this is why it's not my number one, is it just can't lay that damage down. Here's a shame. It struggles. It, it can ninja stuff. Right, it's like a ninja in tank. You'll get a lot of kills in this thing and you'll get a lot of assisted damage. Don't expect yeah. to get a lot of damage with it. It's not that kind of tank. Okay, what are you talking about? 1,000, 1,500 if you're lucky. Yeah. Okay. You've had a good game. Yeah, that's an it's awful not, lot of shots. Yeah, 75 damage a shot, you're yeah. talking f a oh, lot. Yeah, 20, 30 <laughs> to do, shots. To do that, yeah. So we're going to go to this last replay now, and we're going to show this tank in its element, the ideal way of, of playing it as such, if you know what I mean. Okay. So, um, I mean, I'm still, I'm not struggling to see why it's number three, but 
I mean, here we are, Procroft. Already we've got two kills. We've rushed the ridge line at middle. We've spotted all the tanks mostly. I mean, we've got, we've got there eight tanks spotted. We killed artillery, we got him out of the way quick, and we killed a T67. That's how good this tank is. We've spotted and killed a T67 while we're still alive. Yeah, that's good. There's not many tanks can do that. We've actually spotted a lot already. Yeah, I'd say four track like that. Spotted damage we've got. We've yeah. located eight of them as well. And now we're just going to keep moving. We've already got rid of artillery, which were a plus point. Probably oh, win its game as such, but seems to be the best at throwing it away. <laughs> it says your whole team in the centre. What are they all doing in the know. centre? <laughs> Dead tanks and things in my life. I, know, I hate, <laughs> hate doing that. So we can work ridge lines in it, which is good depression. It's half decent. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to be bossing a game from a ridge line because you just can't lay the damage down. This is what it's about. Move tanks on their own, yeah. locate them, kill them. Keep moving, keep mobility up. Things are going to try and hard to it. You're going that quick. You can, I mean, look at the sideways movement of it. You can turn on yeah, a six post. Yeah, it does turn nice. Really brilliant mobility on it. Not just fast, but manoeuvrable as well with it. I'm going to give the mobility a positive for being number three. Yeah, and we notice now we're getting kind of surrounded. Teams dying around us. Mm, we're a bit umming and ahhing at this point. What to do, how we can help. See if we get some shots inside these heavies. Possible. Yeah. <coughs> Bogatars, turret. There we go, Bob. Bob we're gonna struggle now he's facing us. Think better we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bogatar. Yeah, Don't yeah. be afraid to run away in this tank. That's you've got the mobility, use it. It's its strength anyway, so yeah. you may as well use it. There's nothing wrong with repositioning. I mean now we're getting there's some mediums coming up behind us from where we just killed the T1 heavy. Be spotted again. You, you're losing. So why are we using this game if you're losing at this point? Well we're gonna see. What an M7 can do. Another spot of tanks. We're still spotting them even though we're running away. <laughs> we're going to take a shot. Down with his tracks. Yeah. Shots well, bouncing off the back again. We see shots bouncing off it. I was very surprised at that. It, the armor's like. Nothing. 30, yeah. 30 to 40. It's, That's it's, it. it's purely because it's curved, isn't it? Round panels. You know what going to tracks, don't you? Impact. You see the fire rate's just. Yeah, it does riff it. I mean, when you're stationary, the actual Wham. aim circle does get quite small get rid of that building it's quite nice finish him off just show its accuracy quite nicely i mean 10 penetrating shots four kills at this point that's it <laughs> <laughs> it's it you've already said it's camo rated it's camo rated it can hide away without being spotted and it can also spot from a long distance away it's like yeah. a mini scout basically just with a medium badge on it yeah i think they've but it was hard for them to decide which category to put this in. <coughs> i think on the pc it is a light tank Okay. That's how close it is. Yeah. But on the console, it is classed as a medium. I'm trying to use that gun depression here. Debug it time again. It's, uh, I mean, we're struggling here now. We've got a T67 coming up behind us. We've been spotted. We've spotted another enemy though as well. That's 10 we've spotted now. It's just going on that view. Yeah, just trying yeah. to protect that artillery. T67. Ooh. I love spamming all the T67s here. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So you are plenty. I do believe that this tank is quite expensive to run mm. if you keep using your premium rounds. It's loading it for Bogotars and then finding out. I mean, yeah. we've got full off Excelsior here. We're about to shot that side. KV captured KV1, we're going to help us out massively here. I think we've got oh, block, bounce another shot there as well. I mean, look how fast yeah, it is. We've got KV1 help for us, but oop, dodged another shot. So the fire rate is 100% a positive. Yeah. Definitely. And here he comes. There's friendly Bogotar. At this point, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing here. I'm not running off to abandon the KV-1. Okay. I'm running off to get it in his head that I've gone. Yeah, so he thinks, so he's he thinks I've target. gone, and now he thinks he can come and kill that captured KV-1. Now always... I'm coming back now, I'm not spotted anymore. Both on a nipple to yeah. it, and it works a treat. He comes out and he's not looking my way, he thinks I've gone. He's looking KV-1's oh, way, he's, oh, gone. he's gone. Now we've pulled it back. Well, We're three on two we'll now. Definitely Do it again, it same tactic again. Beck can think I'm running off. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming back for some more. So KV using ones, use mobility. Yeah, using mobility. And this is what it gives isolated on his own, slow moving tanks. Yeah. That's what this tank's all about. He ain't got a chance now. This Lucky is shot a, it's a baby Cromwell. I do like this. And that's his six kill at game, 21 penetrating shots. Whew. I think we have found. Risk to shot, KV1 saves the last good turn. Very nice. Thumbs up for that. Um, can we finish it off? He's got to be AFK this last tank. We've not seen him all game. You've done very well. Very the old well. Blitzen. Blitzen? We can't find him. Are you going to use your ability? And... I'm off. 
<laughs> Eventually. <laughs> so you can say, yeah, uh, what speed we're getting up to here? I mean, we're always tramming up, we're slowly building 50, up speed. We're going towards 50 now, we've 40, got a damaged track 50. as well. But we're still tramming 55. on. 55. I mean, you can see the view range here as well. It's another perfect example I've got the view ranges on it. 15 yeah. assisted damage shots we've got in. 10, 10 spotted. spotted. Yeah. We're going to stop here, get his binos up. I'm not sure if he's AFK at this point, but he is, I'm going to tell you. He's not going to spoil it. There's not much excitement to be at the end of this <laughs> game. Oh, that's done with. Okay, so that technically is hunting, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to get that 7th. I do like this M7. I don't actually see many M7s you know, on the it's, it's an underrated tank. It's, 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 it did a little bit more damage than what it is doing, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's his 11th tank spot as well, by the way. Uh, okay. He's done your favour, like so he boosts your hit points. <laughs> Very nice. It's just there, you can see straight away there, it's got four shots tickle a tier three light tank. Yeah. That can be a negative of the tank. Not kidding. You've got to use the mobility to its utmost. Yeah. Like you did in this game. Still don't make Oh, look at that, 206. Positive. Look at the game. <laughs> Good game like that, 1,700 damage. Yeah, 26 penetrating shots. Oh, well, there must be bad, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, nice one. yeah well nearly a thousand assisted damage as well. And we blocked 212. There you go, perfect well, example. So far, it's very nice. Uh, big then... ups at KV1 player. Couldn't have done it without him. He got three kills himself and another 2,000 damage. Happy Kilmore, I think his name is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> very nice. Well done, Happy Kilmore. Uh, go on then, round, round this uh, M7 up then. Give us, I want all the positive. I want good positives. It's got a lot three. of positives, that's why it's at number three. Got its on. positives are its mobility and its top speed. It's not just mobile and is it fast, yeah. it's mobile and is it can weave and dodge and turn and yeah. go all over the place. It's hard to it when it's moving. It's and quite and accurate as well until yeah. moving. Its camera rating is fantastic for a medium tank, so it can hide and it can yeah. spot. It can play like a little scout. It's got an excellent view range as well, 360 metre. That's another yeah. plus point. Quick fire rate, 20 yeah, rounds no, a minute. That's very good Give it a 1,500 damage per minute kick out and that's just stock. Yeah. That's before you start using gun rammers, which I won't advise you if you're not really going to need it. Well, it's not going yeah, to give it? you that much benefit. As well, use other stuff. As got. well as like crew skills. Yeah. So that's just a standard. And the APCR penetrates quite nicely, doesn't it? I like penetration. It's going to cost you. One, a lot. Yeah, it's a killer. But yeah. sometimes 105 just isn't enough. When you come across tier five, yeah. like, it's even worse well, when you come across six and seven. It's a good option though, because yeah. it's fast <coughs> difference. You, can you stop? No, I can't. I've got a frog in my throat. And we've already said it's view range, it's best in its tier, it's yeah, a medium, no, it's which is good. fantastic. That's why you can play as a scout and a medium, if it, you want to. Yeah, and we come to its negatives. Got we it. say the negatives, it's poor armour and it's health pull. Only it 440, but some, 210 yeah. we blocked in that last game. It's, amazing. Nice it's, yeah, it's surprising how much you do bounce in this little thing. It's yeah, a pesky little tank. Definitely. The other negative is the gun. Accuracy. It's not accurate. It's not, it's not horrific, but it's not brilliant. Can it troll you? Yeah, you can have games, <laughs> I've said to you before, I've had games where you can shoot a silhouette or a tank yeah. into a wall behind it because you just can't hit it. Uh, and that's that's even worse over a distance. Okay, so over a distance, oh, of course. Yeah. And then just a general damage per shot. Sometimes you need to shoot and do a lot yeah. to get them out of the way. This done. Yeah. It's 75, you're just going to chip away. We've mentioned that before, 75 damage when you come across them like a tiger because you'll see them. Mm, 75 at the time, you're going to have to put a hell of a yeah. shots into a tiger yeah, just to kill it. Points, yeah. <laughs> so um, that's it. To play this tank, I'd play it as a scout. So I'd, I'd get everything scouted up. I'd use binos, I'd use camo net. Yeah. It might possibly vents, even probably even sometimes a gun lane drive. What's, get that aiming in. Yeah, quicker. I was going to say, what's well, if you want to play it aggressively? You like, can't. Like, oh. It's, it's well, a proper equipment. stealth. That's why it's not always a. That's why I've said before, it's not a tank to go out there and do damaging. Yeah. You're not going to finish, you know, high calibre medals aren't going to come flowing well, your way in this thing. Hard, it's all about 40 team assisting shots, yeah. rather than that. It's yeah. all about spotting targets thing and doing a little bit of damage where you can. Being a pest, basically. Yeah. It's a pest tank. Yeah. And then swooping in for that kill on low elf tanks that are isolated. Is, it, is this like a baby chaffy? Mm. It don't look it. too dissimilar. It's yeah, not as good a gun as a chaffy's got. Yeah. But well. it is a good tank. It's, if in the right hands, an M7 could be a number one on this player list. It's that, it's that deadly. The thing it's, is, it's player dependent, it's yeah. map dependent, so it makes it quite difficult yeah. to play. It's an M7 can be a game changer if it's yeah. handled right. Because oh. it can spot things, it can rip through things, and it can finish things off as well at the end. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, nice one, Kurzo. Very good. I think you've justified your um, 
number three out of five. I hope the other two are much better because you got one and two to come. Uh -huh. And this is number three. So I'll give you a little bit of leeway on this one, being free, middle of the road. That's pretty good, really. a lot of positives with it, not many negatives. No, it's alright actually, I'm quite surprised. I might try and get it because I've never actually played an M7 and I don't see many about. No. So perhaps we might see more about now. You never know. <laughs> Let us know if you've got yeah. one, how you get on with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think we've rounded up Colours 05. Let's thank the viewer for watching and we'll see you on the next one, number two. Uh, if you want to see what our number two is, have a track down on Twitter and you'll find out because we're always given exclusive on Twitter, Gemini Rogues. Thank you very much. Laters.